Hello mate, welcome back. In this video I'm just going to be doing some rendering of, uh, this is Sam, this is the main character's younger sister in the game. She's already got clothes and everything on for obvious reasons and in this scene she's basically walking alongside the main character having a conversation. Um, it's just, you know, they've just met up to go to the park. So the first thing I need to do obviously is to um, get either a HDRI which I'm kind of not overly keen on using for this kind of scene simply because using an HDRI as the background does limit your options in terms of what kind of shots you can get. So I'm going to go through my environments and I'm just going to see if I can find any in my library that I'm really interested in using. So I actually want some kind of landscape ones and we'll just see what kind of what kind of uh, environments that I've got to work with. Obviously this is set in a kind of um, urban area so you know I can't have sprawling fields or anything like that not to mention the characters are fairly young they're unlikely to want to go for a walk in a, you know, in a forest or something like that they're probably more likely to want to go to either a beach or you know a park or something like that so I'm just gonna look for something like that I don't want anything too detailed it's um let's see this one you know if it's too detailed it's gonna just take too long to render and this is you know one of those throwaway scenes where I'm not going to keep coming back to this location it's just going to be sort of maybe one or two scenes at the most so I really just want something quick and simple so that's what I've loaded okay so here we go got our character in the scene got the scene loaded um she's got default hair hence why it's doing some really random and weird stuff that's cool so what i need to do now is i'm going to change her footwear because let's be honest no one's going to go out for a walk in the park in that kind of footwear so i'm just going to turn off the selectability of the uh of the scene and select our character we need to be in the move tool to be able to do that so select that select the footwear Sandals, get rid of those. Bosh. Okay, close that back up again and go back into my smart content, into wardrobe, and we want to get her some sneakers or trainers if you're from the UK. Uh, something simple that they can she can walk in. It's not going to completely cripple her. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Appropriately named and everything. Lovely jubbly. Let's see if I've got any different materials for those. Let's see what we've got. And no, in a nutshell, let's just make sure that they are actually IRA. Cool. All right, so now we need to put her into a pose. So we'll give her a poses and by function and walking. And we can adjust the uh, the actual pose afterwards. She's going to be walking and talking. So we'll just give her a straight up walking pose for now. Let's see how this looks. And let's see. Okay, that looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Let's just have a look and check that she's not clipping through the floor, which clearly she is. So I just have to bring her up. And keep on trucking until we are officially kind of. I don't know what's going on with. Gonna have to make some tweaks there because that ain't right. Let's just bend this leg a bit. Right shin, bend it a bit more. Come on, give me a good angle. 37.55 is too much. Oops. Let's go with 38. No, better. Let's try 39. Much better. Okay, now we can unbend the toes a little bit so they're actually flat on the ground. And then we can come back to the right shim. Let's say 40 now and see what happens. Okay, so now she's actually, I don't know what kind of surface the, uh, the artist who invented, who came up with this um, product was anticipating. But okay, so we need to just adjust this a little bit. A little bit of clipping through the floor is fine, but that's too much. So let's just try twisting. Uh, 
It's okay. Right, we're just not going to focus on her feet very much. That's fine. That works. All right, so she's walking along quite happy. Very casual walker. And so we're going to have her first shot. She's going to be looking at the camera over this way. So we'll pop a camera where the main character will be. And then we can adjust this camera. Jump to it. Now the main character is probably about, <clears throat> I want to say 1.8 meters tall. So we can adjust that a little bit. Don't want it to be up ridiculously low or ridiculously high, but we do need it to be kind of roughly where his head would be for this shot. She's going to be making eye contact with the camera. So this, this camera is going to be the main character's point of view. So we need to apply depth of field come out there go into perspective view pull our focal distance back focus on her eyes and then we're going to actually open this up a, a little bit so that the background isn't too blurry we don't want too much there cool so now we've got that we can turn her head she's looking straight at the camera so we'll twist over this way and then we're going to give her, her eyes straight at the camera. Perfecto! And hopefully it's far away enough that it won't make her look cross-eyed, which is always a danger. And we'll see how it looks once we've done it, and then if needs be we can move the camera further away. Now that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. So now we need to run our simulation to make her hair work. So we're just going to make some slight adjustments. I'm going to change the gravity to 1.1 and I'm going to reduce the uh, wind resistance to 0.1. It's a really subtle difference but it makes all the difference. I'm actually going to go with yes for the start bones for memorized pose now because I want the hair to kind of flow naturally as, as though she's actually walking. It's, it's not going to give me the, the perfect simulation for that but it'll be it will be better. So I'm going to go with one second initialization time, pose transition time. I'm going to just leave it one. It's going to be a quick transition, which is going to cause her hair to flick a little bit. And then stabilization time, I'm going to drop to 0.5. And then I will run that simulation. All right, cool beans. So we've got our character. We've got our hair simulated and she's in a pose we're going to change the pose from shot to shot i think because clearly she's sort of not walking particularly hard here um so the next thing to do is obviously we need to choose the light source so the best thing to do is go into our camera stick this thing in nvidia ira mode and then we can choose an hdri that best suits the the scene and we can see how things are going to start to stack up as well so we'll see how that looks. Alrighty, so I've changed the t-shirt because the one that she had on had a really bad crease down the middle. This one's still got a crease down the middle, but I can remove that in Photoshop without too much aggravation. So just that minor adjustment that we've made there. I'm actually not unhappy with the light that this HDRI is casting. However, I'm aware that I'm not currently drawing it on the screen. So if I go into my render settings and environment and I turn on draw down that's where we start to see a bit of a problem so that's not going to work so what i need to do is reload another hdi so i'm going to have a quick browse and find one of those cool so that's a better looking hdri it looks like she's there in there in the forest there's a bit of kind of nice orange light coming in nice little yellow sunlight what i've also done as you can see is i've changed the top that she's wearing because I was still unhappy with the rucking up and what I've done is in, in this top the reason I've chosen it is because it's a defaults top and what I've done is I've changed the contraction expansion ratio to about 80% 78% it's just because I was where, the, where I dragged it to uh, and what that does is it makes the material shrink um, so that it kind of stretches out that uh, property it, it gets rid of that nice rock up in there so basically this image is pretty much ready to render at this point i'm just going to maybe i'm thinking about adding some kind of rim light behind her so what i need to do is come back into texture shaded and this is a trick that you've all seen me do numerous times so i'm going to go back into perspective view and i'm going to create a 
Uh, for this one, I'm actually just going to create a plane. Do you know what? Can't be bothered messing around with the geometry editor today, and it needs to be about 1.5 meters across. Lovely jubbly. So now we can drag that up so it's at her. Nope, that's the wrong thing. We're going to have to undo that. What? Oh, yep. <laughs> Always slightly annoying when that happens. We've got the plane selected. Now I'm just going to change that Y translate to about 200 centimeters high. And then I can zoom out and I can see what I'm working with. So first thing I want to do is just adjust the rotation of the object. I'm doing this using the rotate tool rather than using the um, properties over here. Only because it just gives me a little bit more freedom. And then I can drag this on the correct axis, drag it away from her a little bit, maybe down. Probably a little bit close, but it might be okay. No, it's not okay. No, that's not okay at all. Let's drag it off of her hair and then come down a bit more in that axis, that plane. That works, that's fine. Look, living, living the dream with that one, that's perfect. So now what I need to do is uh, change the surface property. So we're going to our plane and we're gonna just apply my snazzy ghost light property that I've applied many times and then we're going to come down to two-sided light and we're going to turn that off like so and then if we come back into our camera view mode and we stick this in nvidia iron mode we can see what it looks like it might be too bright might not probably going to be massively too bright because it is quite a big quite a big surface so let's just see what happens take a few seconds to get us there Okay, it's actually doing nothing at all. So that probably means that I've got the normals flipped the wrong way around, which is fine. I can just go into the geometry editor tool, select our plane, select that, and then we'll go to uh, geometry editing, flip normals of selected polygons, and then we'll see what happens. There we go. Now it's illuminating her. Probably a bit too much though. So we come into our surface properties, go down to emission I'm going to drop this down to probably in a region of about 150 just needs to be creating a highlight and not overdoing it maybe that's not quite enough let's strike a happy medium then let's go with uh, 400 there we go now if I unselect or if I just come out of that we can get a better feel for that there we go that just looks a little bit better well, in my humble opinion, anyway. So that image is ready to render, basically. So I'm going to hit the render button, and that'll be that. Thanks ever so much for watching that, guys. I hope you found that useful. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I will see you all again very soon. But until then, you take damn good care of yourselves, all right?